last name? Smith. And your date of birth? 825-9. Okay, so what's been going on? Um, I've been coughing for a week and I have some shortness of breath. Okay. Are you a smoker? No. Do you have asthma? No. And there's no chance you could be pregnant? No. Okay. So we're going to be doing two pictures of your chest today. This is just a shield. I'm going to put it around you. Okay. So you're going to come over here. Put your chest right up against it. Take a deep breath in and hold it. Okay, breathe. Okay, now you're going to turn and put your left side up against you. Another deep breath in and hold it. Okay, breathe. Right, we'll be right back. I'm just going to go check. Next. Okay, the pictures came out fine. So the radiologist is going to read those, and the, your doctor should get the results by tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Sarah. And I'm Samantha, and I'm a second year radiology student at Holyoke Community College. To become a radiologic technologist, you first have to take a number of prerequisites which involve a lot of math and science. After an interviewing process and final acceptance, you must attend a full-time 21-month program. Once that is completed, you can take the boards and get licensed in most states. Um, the radiology program at Holyoke Community College has been a really great experience for us. Right from the start, you're getting hands-on experience and working in hospitals and working with the patients. So it's right when we graduate, we feel ready and prepared for the work area. It is common for people to think that taking an x-ray is simply just pushing a button, but there's a lot more than that. It is very hands-on and very active. You are on your feet all day and do some heavy lifting. Um, if you're thinking of doing radiology, it's important to have a desire to help sick and injured people, as you see that throughout the day. And that's why we chose this path, because we love to help people. Um, no two days are ever the same either, so it's important to be able to think critically, um, whether it be positioning the patient certain ways, or setting the appropriate technique, um, or manipulating the x-ray tube so that you can get the anatomy that you need. Film is not as commonly used in x-ray departments anymore as technology is advancing and doing away with it. So it's important to be able to gain knowledge and keep up with these advancing technologies. Once you've graduated as a radiologic technologist, you can further your education by going into fields like CAT scan, MRI, mammography, and interventional radiography. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Kevin. I am a graduate from HUC radiology program. Um, I currently have a full-time job at Mercy Medical Center. Why did you choose this profession? Uh, so it was interesting. Um, growing up, having x-rays, I wanted to know how it worked and all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So. What's rewarding about this job? Uh, you get to help people. Um, you get to see many different people throughout the day and you know, putting a smile on most of their faces is good. Are there any challenges? Uh, yeah, every day. Um, no one patient is the same. Everything's different. Yeah, pretty much. All right, thank you. Um, can you introduce yourself? 
Hi, I'm Holly Martin Peel. I am the program director at Holyoke Community College in the radiography program. Uh, I am also a graduate of the HCC radiography program, so I've really kind of seen it from both sides. Um, if someone's interested in this program, what are the steps they can take to kind of get in the program? Um, the first step I always recommend is to attend an information session for the program. And information sessions are held monthly during the summer and fall and the start of the winter, and then every other month during the spring after the admissions deadline. Uh, the information, pardon me, information session dates are available on the HCC website. So you can just go to www.hcc.edu and look up the radiologic technology program and you will find the link to the information session dates. Can you tell us a little bit about the application process? Well, the application and admissions process involves a three-step process and we've tried to make that process very objective instead of being subjective. Um, and what we do for that is we first require that people turn in an application and any transcripts they have from other colleges or, um, and, or their high school. Um, from that, we will assign point values on a rubric. The top 50 or so scores from step one will move on to phase two. Phase two is an observation at one of our clinical sites. Um, you'll get an opportunity to look at the equipment, probably see some of our students in action, really see what you're, um, what you're looking at as far as the field and the program. Uh, at the end of that information, at the end of that observation, uh, we will give you an assignment to access the material and study it. And that is to prepare for the third step of the process. The third step is what we call the evaluation meeting. That's held at the college, and basically what we're going to do is ask you a series of five questions based on that material we had you study. From that information, we will decide um, 20 to 25 students who will receive acceptance to the program. Okay, thank you. Well, I thank you very much for watching this video, and please, if you need any more information, you can uh, email me at hmartin h martin at hcc.edu. Thank you. Thank you.